based on a true story about passion and desire. I found this great company known as Bertelsmann in 1835 as a small printing business. And under my leadership, look how much it's grown. From printing, we've diversified to newspapers, fiction, nonfiction, the revolutionary book club. Our concept of the book club idea has even influenced music. I took this company and even entered the record market. And how did I do this? By using our strong core values that you are so obsessed with changing. We used decentralized, divisional corporate structure with multiple independent profit center. I called it leadership from the center, and it has always worked. I expanded this company to Portugal, UK, Netherlands, Italy, you name it, I've done it. I broadened our portfolio with strategic mergers and acquisitions. We entered the TV and magazine industry. We had divisions in publishing, book and music clubs, printing and industrial services, music, film, TV. And all this expansion did not require an IPO. And you all of a sudden think you need more money when we have stronger profits on our competitors? Right, Mr. Ryan, listen. Let's not talk about me for a second. Let's talk about Wozner. He took the reins after I left. And even he was able to successfully take Bertelsmann forward without compromising our core values. Given the globalized market space, he took our company and effectively entered the US market. He combined the worldwide music business into Bertelsmann Music Group and took the company online through the AOL investment. What have you done to progress this company? Compromise our values? Stray from tradition? It's absolutely ridiculous. Have you forgotten that it's under my leadership that we've become the fifth largest media company by revenues? Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I've spent our business from book and magazine publishing to printing, music, television, media services, and even online business. All I'm trying to say is that the company should make a shift from a decentralized approach to some, so, some sort of cooperative decentralization. Right, we have to allow possibility of integration. Right? It's the internet. The internet is blurring geographical um, boundaries. I mean, we have to find a way to integrate all of our traditional business units into one and, you know, create new distribution channels. That was so dumb. Why would you even do that? Listen, I'm just trying to explain our three biggest challenges right now are fragmentation, convergence, and globalization. Right. 
Well, that's the reason I created my strategic vision, 3 plus 7 Beatlesmen in Transition. Right. I mean, all I'm trying to do is make the company adequately respond to these internal and external challenges. I just, I just can't stand you anymore. This is ridiculous. I have revitalized our whole corporate theme. I mean, did you forget when I went to the United States and talked to the Financial Times reporter? No one knew what Burlesman was, never mind that it was the third largest global media industry in the world. God, I'm so frustrated. <sighs> Mr. M, let me remind you of the core values that I place into Burlesman. I understand, I understand, just listen for a second. I placed creativity, entrepreneurship, global media and entertainment company, and integration. These are the four values that have made Burlesman successful. You know what? You've compromised everything this company stands for, and your results are mediocre at best. You're a wannabe American, and how you're handling this company is not the German way that we think. You're an embarrassment, and I can't stand to see my company be in your hands any longer. You're fired. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. That'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. He has been chosen to save his people. For the first time, a hero will rise. Critics are calling it sensational. Critics are calling it beautiful. One man. One leader. One decision. Now that I'm CEO, what should I do? Critics are calling it the best movie of all time. Coming soon.